No area. And so, I'll start off the area, I'll start off the town there. No area had not. I think because they grew up. Out of here, no area for taku. Not malin. Four months now, we've been praying this litany daily and weekly, and now people of faith all around the country are joining us in this prayer. We invite you to join us. It's in the second page of your programs. I hope everyone has has one. So I enter or ask you to enter with me in a spirit of holiness and sacredness and a litany for a faithful national budget. <coughs> Let us pray. <laughs> 20% of all children in the United States live in poverty. We cannot leave our children a legacy of rising debt, nor can we leave them a legacy of rising poverty. We, we pray for a just and compassionate budget that protects all our children from hunger and homelessness, from inadequate education and health care, from poverty. Our God hears the cry of the children who are poor. Blessed be our God. Many older adults and people with disabilities in the United States live near or below the poverty line. Social Security and Medicare are their lifelines. We cannot neglect the very real needs of our senior citizens and people with disabilities. We pray for a just and compassionate budget that protects our elders from poverty, financial insecurity, and inadequate health care. Our God hears the cry of our seniors who are poor on earth. Blessed be our God. Women in the